<sighs> Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Let's go! I've got a bad feeling about this. Not liking to be away for so long. Go! Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the East and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Look, I think I see someone. Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. It's a bad idea to split up right now. Come on, Come on. Boys. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we Stay should get back me. there as soon as we can. Please stay close. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Come on, let's hurry. Let's go. Get up. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in, like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Yeah. 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 We gotta get to the horse. There ain't enough of us. Let's go out. We can't get through the doors. It's too dangerous. This ain't working. Mr. Marston, please. See if you can get in through the lock. Let's wrap it up. Pull it out. Help me, will you? Get a move on. Somebody get that horse.
sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? 
I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200, I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. It's a bargain, twice the price. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go then, partner. Good luck out here. Howdy. You got the deed? Yep. Here it is. Ah, oh, you're about in Solomon. All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, sir... Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next looking mare. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarland! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know... Part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You 
You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on, let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them. Rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lying in their pockets. Yeah. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deeks, Williamson's right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. You wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard. Deeks is the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Doubleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up to the left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. It's scum like Deke here. A whole popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. Hurry up, Marston. We gotta get the body. supposed to turn out, sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resists me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Just look at Deke here. Go to him! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. And with laws is, everybody ain't the same. And why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East get to decide how a man in Armadillo should live his yeah. life? Well, maybe you're right about that. 
Where are you from, Marston? I'll kill all three of you myself, I swear! Come on! Boys will be getting fast poking, I bet. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind you. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath from breathing? Come on now, boys. Cut me loose. Wait. Where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? Oh, I want to stop doing that. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> <coughs> 